All right, good morning, guys. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but why not? Um, kind of a weird time to be doing it because we're right in the middle of a move, Samantha and I. This is our new place. Uh, we moved up to Thousand Oaks, California, and uh, yeah, it's been nice. I got a new job over at uh, O'Neill, so that's been cool. Quit racing, that was badass. So uh, yeah. Let you in on a little reason for the video. So I've been wanting one of these bikes. Okay, all right, now this thing is rough, okay. But I've been wanting one of these bikes for a very long time. Um, I used to have one, um, it's a KX500. This one is a 1994, um, it is rough. It did have plastic on it, but I took it off um, while I was washing it at the car wash and threw it away over there because our trash cans have been full just from the move. So anyways, yeah, 1994 KX500. I've always wanted one of these. Like I said, I used to have one um, like a long time ago. Uh, my dad bought, it was like an 04, crazy. Still wish we had it, but yeah. This is the one I got yesterday. I picked it up for 2,800 bucks. And I thought it was a steal. The guy had it listed for 5,500. But as soon as I started looking at it, I mean, it was pretty rough and it's gonna need a lot of work. Pretty much every bolt that whoever rode this thing touched, they stripped it out or cross threaded it or did something like that. Um, it, it was listed with new radiators. Obviously these are the freaking Chinese ones um, that hardly ever work. Um, yeah, so I got my work cut out for me. Um, it's got some good stuff on it. I mean, this this silencer and this pipe i mean i feel like i'll be able to clean up and reuse um a lot of the stuff i'll be able to reuse and a lot of stuff i won't be um yeah so i think it's going to be a good build got some cool people um great sponsors still on board somehow wanting to help me out here but uh, it's going to be a lot of stuff that i'm not going to be able to find because this is an old motorcycle and it's going to be tough yeah i mean the seat's nice it looked like it somebody like reupholstered it dude the foam is still rock hard but both sides i mean this one's in there but it's like not and these seat pans are not cheap so i'm wondering oh yeah that just bolts on there so maybe i could just get a new one of um these l's and do it that way Anyways, for some reason, I just love these old dirt bikes, man. And, uh, you know, now that I'm retired, I think uh, once I do get the urge to maybe ride dirt bikes again um, in the future, which I mean, not right now, but I mean, uh, I actually do want to race day in the dirt. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get the 500 done in time, but uh, I don't know. I think it would be like a cool event, you know, just do stuff like that. Maybe just go out to Glen Helen one day and just cruise around on it or something like that. I think it, it'd be a cool bike for, for something like that. So, uh, so yeah, and it's a cool project, you know? Um, so yeah, I just, for right now, I don't really want to have the urge to ride a motorcycle that much, but I don't know, like, this is just like the stuff that I enjoy to do. It's like, you know, doing these builds and, and seeing what we can see how well we can polish a turd, you know? So, um, yeah, it's it's just something fun for me. Uh, yeah, maybe it'll maybe it'll want me to or allow me to want to ride a motorcycle in the near future. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much the thought process behind it. Um, and maybe I'll just you know put it in the back corner and and stare at it you know for for a very very long time. I told Samantha uh, I got it for a good price and maybe I could resell it, but what she doesn't know I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this thing for a very, very long time, probably forever. Oh yeah, over here, by the way, it's moving in. These are the, the golf clubs. This is Samantha's golf clubs that I got her, with her OGO bag. This OGO bag was actually uh, supposed to be for me, but I went to a, a, like a golf store and it was in the women's section. Um, and I didn't really feel comfortable going to the golf course after that. So <laughs> I gave it to Samantha and I ended up uh getting a new one it's that blue ogo over there it's pretty awesome yeah I had to bought that thing 
Yeah, you know, like anytime you buy golf stuff, you gotta buy Ogio, right? But maybe I'll do a what's in a bag video, but I mean, I'm trash at golf anyway, so I don't know why I should do that, but yeah. And I was talking to a couple people last night and they said that I could pretty much bolt the, like a newer style front end on this thing. Uh, my I actually have an old KX, uh, not an old, like a 2020 KX 450 wheel set that I was gonna slap on this thing. I don't have any suspension, um, but there was some on eBay that was pretty cheap. So that's gonna be cool. Um, I gotta find a mechanic, cause I mean, I can't really, I'm not gonna rebuild this thing, I don't trust myself. Um, but uh, find a mechanic here in town to maybe rebuild this thing and, and uh, get her going. Yeah, I think it's gonna be nice. Oh, by the way, this is my garage. My new garage is badass. Got my uh, got my GT bicycles. That's not a GT, but that's my GT. Um, I don't have my gravel bike or my hardtail yet here, so whenever I go home and grab the parts for that, uh, I'll be grabbing my other bicycles. But there's my GT E Force getting charged up. Yeah, look, we guess still got boxes everywhere. I just got that freaking. I just got that fireplace. I'm badass. I got patio furniture on the way. I'm stoked on that. Yeah, Vegas boots. Never wore them. I wanted to, but I never wore them. And now they're gonna go up as decorations. So, yeah. It's all the like dirt bike parts and merch. People need to start buying that merch, dude. I, I, got, I got some inventory. <laughs> I already ordered some stuff for the KX500. Um, but, keep sending stuff to my old address in, in Marietta, so. I'm gonna have to go down there and get it at some point because I already bought it. And I tried to change the address, but I'm not too computer savvy on how to do that, so whatever. All right, this is as far as I'm gonna go for the night. Um, got like the linkage off or a wheel. Um, Ran into an issue. I don't have the right size for this. It looks like someone went in there and put a different size in there, but that's all right. Um, yeah, I'm, I put the front wheel back on. Just it was a little bit easier to get stuff uh, stuff off, hold the bike in place. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do an updated front end on this thing. So that's gonna be cool. A um, few more things like. I remember my last YZ video, um, the air filter was like not on and there was, it sucked a bunch of dirt, but this one, it didn't even have an air filter. So I thought it was gonna like have a lot of dirt sucked in there, but it seemed all good. So I didn't have any um, radiator fluid in it either. So that was cool. Um, so yeah, no air filter no fluid in the radiators i mean although those things are the freaking chinese ones that don't go up with the bike so yeah i feel like we, we had a productive day i mean even with all the diy stuff that we had to do so it's good this is why i picked a great time to do a bike build we're moving in and we're doing all this DIY stuff. She had me running her all around town this morning and going to every Goodwill and everything. We had some good finds. Yeah, we got bar stools and the coffee table. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're making a coffee table. We done took the legs off. Oh no, bar stools were $8 by the way. Bar stools were $8. Yeah. Um, and then we got the coffee table. Yeah. Um, we got the coffee table. Yeah. Um, and then we got the coffee table. No. Yeah, and then we got this coffee table, ripped the legs off, got these little pots, pots from Ace Hardware. Got this thing for like 20 bucks. So, then we just got done painting it. And yeah, dog's munching over there next to the pooper scooper. Get my mam in my paint clothes. Yeah. All right, we're taking a break because Samantha decided to start on the bar stools. So we're taking a break, but we did get the coffee table done here. I'll show you this. Heck yeah, little modifications to it. 
It's gonna go good in the living room. Yeah. All right, so this is what we got going on. We bought these bar stools at, uh, where do we get them? Uh, Goodwill. Goodwill. And so Samantha just stripped them up. Went and got a staple gun. And we already did one, so we gotta do two more. Nice, oh yeah. Eight bucks, Goodwill. Let's see, Samantha did these. I did this one, looks the best. Point that out, yep. I had to stop working on the bike yesterday because uh, dinner was ready. But happy Labor Day, everybody. Samantha's out here in the garage with me and she's doing something. I don't know. Enjoying her glass of wine. The dog. Don't mind the cocktail. Anyways, this is where. Uh, shoot. So, this is how far we got. Okay. I got the whole bike stripped down. I got the engine out, pipe, frame, tank, all that right here. This is something different. Got some parts ordered. I don't really know where to go from here. Um, I did see that someone broke a foot peg off or something and got it rewelded. Um, that sucks, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's how far I got. What do you think, Sam? Oh, I also took the uh, seat foam out. Great. I've ridden like maybe five laps at Paris since um, I gave up the dream. But uh, these things, they need some work. Well, uh, this one does. The the YZ that I did a video on, that thing's mint. I just got some new graphics for it. It's ready to hit the vet track. Um, so, yeah, that thing's dialed in. But this thing still needs a little bit of work. Um, just like chain, chain sliders and all that stuff. Not much, but... Yeah, it needs it needs a revamp. This son bitch got me hot. Damn it! It's been a few days, and I've got some parts that have been coming in, and uh, I just want to update you guys on how the build's going. So, yep, you guys have seen so far. Um, so, since the last time I worked on the bike, um, I stripped the whole thing down, sort of organized everything ordered some parts that I needed, still need some parts, but uh, we'll show you guys what we got in the mail. All right, so I had originally, so what's in this box is the hubs. Uh, the hubs, I got some wheel bearings in there too. I originally had this front hub whenever I rode Cowies uh, a couple years ago. So I had my dad send me that, I had it in Tennessee. Um, and then I just got some bolt cutters off Amazon and I cut the, cut the spokes out. So I got these um, hubs going to W and he's gonna Cerakote the hubs and then we're gonna lace them up with some new wheels cause John Anderson is the best and he carries nothing but the best. So here's some of the stuff that needs to get um, vapor blasted, like the shock, body. Um, I'm gonna do the pipe, silencer, brakes, airbox, frame, subframe. Oh, another thing, my dad had one of these in the garage in Tennessee too, a freaking subframe to a KX500, don't ask me why. But he sent that in the box as well. I'm gonna get the, I need to take the bearings out of this thing, but all that sandblasted. Um, gone through and then andy Gregg from gut seats okay don't freaking hate on my on my uh staple job but this is the best that i could do um he did a tall seat foam for me and this blue seat cover i think it's gonna look good um with the wrinkles dude screw it and then yeah so we got the engine out um gonna get that vapor blasted and rebuilt uh hit up my boys over at wiseco um boy kev dog I actually uh the pulp show with him yeah so that's going to get vapor blasted and rebuilt and then i bought this off ebay from a guy in buford georgia i don't know i just think that the kx 500s look sick with these freaking aluminum tanks this thing's pretty much new so yeah it's badass so the x fun ones from europe it's pretty sick and then um yeah this is all just like the bolts and stuff that i took off that's the stock tank um so yeah the boys over at bolt sent me this bolt kit a while back uh for kx500 it's just like all the 
All the bolts is pretty badass. I bought this Boysen um, uh, ignition cover on Motorsport, actually. I used the uh, Pulp, I went over to Pulp MX and went to the banner for Motorsport um, and got that. I didn't feel up, like hitting up my boy Hoppa. And then this is some more of the other stuff that I got from Motorsport. Um, you know, just an air filter, air filter cage. And then I had this, um, I ordered this for my boy over um, uh, Renthal, Par Paul Parabinos, going with a 1447 gearing on this thing. And there's the tube, it's the freaking most heavy duty tube ever that came out of the rear wheel. So I'm gonna leave that. That's update, baby. How do you feel about me working on my bike in the garage whenever I get home from work? It's whatever. What do you think? Tell me. Hmm? I want to get annoyed when I have to do wedding shit and I'm all alone. Yeah, she's not happy about it. Yeah, she's definitely not happy about it. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the Monday after LA Coliseum. All right, so we're like, I don't know, a month into this KX500 build and it has gotten expensive. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Samantha's pissed. But uh, yeah, just got off work, dude. Just plugging away. Um, rode the Stark yesterday. That thing is crazy. It's crazy that I'm building like a 30 year old motorcycle that just vibrates like crazy and and then they're already coming out with electric motorcycles that are that have no vibration or anything that are stupid fast. Um, yeah, we also did this uh, Yamaha thing at the Coliseum, so I was able to ride the uh, the YZ 125 with uh, with a couple celebrities that they invited out, uh, which was pretty cool. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and uh, give you a little bit more of an update. Just all in this first video, um, just because I've I've had some parts trickle in, um, you know, since uh, you know the last couple of days. I took all of the all of the stuff over to Jason over at the Racers Edge in Simi Valley, and he's pretty much going to take uh, care of uh, like you know all the seracoding and and uh, rebuilding the engine, the vapor blasting. Um, and all that type of stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, no, it's all going good. I actually sent my wheels out to John Anderson at W, and he laced, laced them up with uh, an awesome set of XL wheels, new spokes, and he seracoded the hubs. I had a, my dad actually sent me um, like a front brake, a front brake rotor, and a front wheel off of like a 2020, kicks 450 that i had uh from a couple years ago for a team that i rode for that i will not speak of um <laughs> and uh and yeah so i got i got that all laced up as well um so yeah those things look sick here i'll show you guys hold on i rearranged the garage a little bit too got my bicycles in here i'll hang, hang up so yeah so sarah coated the hubs uh it's like a brown ish like magnesium and a silver wheel and silver spokes it's kind of honestly it's it's a lot like the the uh the cowies what they ran at the la coliseum this weekend for like the 50th anniversary so yeah it's gonna be good man it's gonna be good this bike is gonna be very very nice all right yeah so the next video i believe that i upload will be 
probably almost the finished product. So I'm gonna be very, very excited whenever this thing is done. So is Samantha because she's tired of getting eBay boxes in the mail. Um, <laughs> that is for sure. She orders something on Amazon and she goes out and thinks she's all excited because it's here and it's not, it's an eBay box. So, yep, that's gonna be in the next video. Just like finished product probably and all the, the extra stuff that we got in. Motorsport has just been sending me boxes full of just bolts that I can't find for the motorcycle and all kinds of stuff. My dad had some freaking cool parts. Uh, like I said, he sent me like the front, I don't know, front brake rotors and the front brake line and all that stuff. So it's coming together. Um, still waiting on a few things, but for the most part, uh, we have everything in a box ready to put it together. We're just waiting on some powder coating and a crank for the engine. Yeah, I needed a crank and a transmission. That was not cheap. Um, but luckily, Jay Clark over um, over there in uh, Southern California, I shot him an email and he um, he got me linked up with Vinco. I think V-I, Vintco. I think it's Vintco, Vintco. It's like a, um, it's a website. It's a company that has a lot of uh, parts for vintage motorcycles. So. Um, I was able to find a crank on there for a reasonable price um, and I think it's very good quality So that's exciting because the cranks for these things for like the OEM ones that are like used were $700 so um, Yeah, that was awesome. So we'll see that in the next video. All right. Thanks guys